Some of the slowest elevators in the world can be found in hotels on Miami Beach. We have uh, Orthodox Jewish people coming here for the season, for the all year round. So the question is, how do people get to their homes, get to their rooms on the Sabbath if you're on a high floor? Sleeping in the lobby is not a solution. The problem is, for observant Jews, it is forbidden to ride an elevator on the Sabbath. The, the Bible simply says we do not make a fire on the Sabbath. When you push the button and, and create electricity, you're creating a fire. The door opens, there's all types of electricity, all types of, of labors are being done, and therefore that would be forbidden on the Sabbath. The other problem is the electric eye in the elevator door. The electric eye detects your presence, opens those doors again. Uh-oh, your body has opened those doors. If we interfere with the electric eye, it's just as bad as pushing the button. So the uh, rabbis, together with technology and science, will come up with a solution where they create the Sabbath elevator where there's no need to push any buttons. We do have a Shabbat elevator for our, for our Jewish customer. Our maintenance staff, typically around 5.30 in the evening, before the sun will set, will key the elevator where it goes straight to the rooftop, up to 17, and then we'll stop on every floor on the way down until it hits actually the basement level. Going up, the Shabbat elevator is an express to the penthouse. We're going to be singing um, the Shabbos songs, the Smiros, especially if we're alone together quick. in the elevator. It goes quick. It's quick. It does, yes. The penthouse, it goes quickly. Coming down, the elevator takes about seven minutes, stopping at every floor. It could take seven minutes for the elevator to arrive. Not bad, perhaps, on a day of rest. The day is a more relaxing day, so we're not, no appointments, doctors are running with the kids. It's, you know, everyone's walking and it's a relaxed day, so we have time. It's good we have Shabbos elevator, it's a lot, and with kids. For those who live by ancient law, modern life can be a challenge. But elevators make modern life possible and the Shabbat elevator is proof that people will always find ways to use them. Here we are in the lobby, we're gonna get out. We have six seconds to get out, not to break the circuit. Here we are, automatically.